question is from Ander Beth. If on a budget, what are some of the higher quality protein sources you recommend buying? I I put this Cheap question protein. I, I I put this question in here because it, I get asked it a lot. Yeah, but be careful with that statement. Um, uh, when you you pay you typically pay for what you get with protein. Uh, the biggest difference in price when you go look at a, a jug of protein that's being sold for maybe twenty four dollars versus one that's being sold for fifty or seventy, it's the amount of protein per serving that's in there. That's the, the biggest difference. The The margins with supplement companies, there isn't really this like massive difference where like, oh, this company is just way cheaper and it's great quality than this company. It's like the the discrepancy in the $20 to $50 or $70 bottles, like why are they so different, but they're shaped about the same size, is when you flip the label around and you actually measure out how many grams of protein and how many servings you're actually getting, that's the biggest difference. The difference between a uh, a protein powder that is claiming that it's extremely cheap, a lot of the times what they're doing is they're they have 14 grams of protein in their serving, so of course it's cheaper. You're the most expensive part of the protein powder is the protein, so you got to be careful uh, of that. Then you have other companies that aren't paying for third party testing, which is ex- is expensive to do, so that's why they have to normally pay for or charge a little more for it. So if you go for the cheapest protein all the time, you got to be careful that you're not getting somebody who's one, uh, just making it look like it's a great deal. But when you actually measure out all the grams of protein per serving, it's really not. And then in addition to that, they're also not third party tested. And so they, they don't have to spend that money on it. So they, so yeah, I, I caution people that are just trying to save you know, five bucks uh, on a protein powder because because of this. When you look at it per serving, it's not that big of a yeah, difference. Yeah, and, and then they've had in the past companies that have done what's called amino acid spiking. Yes. So what they'll do is they'll, so proteins are made up of, or chains of amino acids. And one way, and I'm going to simplify, it's a little more complicated, but a company will get tested on their grams of protein by testing certain amino acids. And then because there's so much of, you know, leucine or whatever, they can estimate, oh, this is how many grams of protein. So what some companies did is that instead of having 30 grams of protein, they had 30 grams of a, a particular amino acid that would show up. So then they'd get tested. It would get verified they had much that much protein. But then when other testing came out that got even more specific and detailed, they found, uh-oh, there's half as much protein as they said. Now, I'm going to go the whole food r- route. So uh, the whole food route, what foods can you get that'll give you you know good protein at good prices? You can actually do pretty well with this. Uh, tuna fish is a very inexpensive source of protein. You can buy chicken breasts and chicken thighs. Chicken thighs in bulk all day. Really, really good prices. Where you're 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 having you know a, a couple dollars a serving of thirty grams of protein if you buy bags of you know bulk of chicken breasts and chicken thighs. Here's another great great source. Of protein that's really really good, well priced. Grubs it, and crickets. Yeah, no, yeah. Go outside. Eat Nobody the, will but, do it, but you know, yeah. it's a really high source of protein. It, Look into it. it. It is, but if you if you don't want to eat bugs, um, <laughs> yeah. if you can tolerate dairy, cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is cheap, high protein source. You could go the full fat route if you want higher calories. You could go the, the low or non fat route if you want to go low calories. This was a staple when I was growing up trying to increase my protein intake, increase my calories, I would go to the store, I'd buy a big jug of cottage cheese and, and you know, I'd have 100 grams of protein for the whole day and it wouldn't cost me more than six bucks or something like that. So you can get real, you can get inexpensive with all kinds of food if you're smart. Now here's where it gets expensive, eating out. If you're trying to get 30 to 40 grams of protein in a serving and you're eating at Chipotle or the burger place or wherever, yeah, you're going to be spending 1,000 bucks or more a month on getting that kind of stuff. But if you buy in bulk, especially if it's frozen, you can go to the grocery store, buy a big bag of frozen chicken thighs or frozen chicken breasts. Oh my gosh, man. It's, it's really inexpensive. You could do really well. Oh, and mm-hmm. to that point, if you're not, if you, if you're cooking your food, that is by far the best advice. If you're looking for something fast and you're either eating out or you're having a, a protein shake, your protein shake is going to be way cheaper when you measure out what it it's is. Still, yeah, it's still cheaper. Yeah, if you if you were to like to your point, Sal, if you go to your favorite restaurant and you get a you know forty gram of protein meal, which is normally steak or a chicken type, that's yeah, like no. minimum eight bucks. Yeah, minimum. Yeah. Minimum. More, most likely, you're paying like fifteen to twenty five bucks or whatever with that. I mean, the shake what per serving, you're probably breaking it down to like two dollars. Yeah, a couple bucks. Yeah, so you're still for when you're talking about getting proteins expensive. 
no matter where you get it, right? Like, and, and unless you get it in bulk, like you're saying, and you're just buying chicken thigh, and I love this, I love to recommend chicken thighs. Like, mm-hmm. I wish somebody would have turned me on to that. I, w- I fell into the, the like, oh, we need to eat uh, ch- a chicken breast all the time when I was younger. And so I was wasting all this money on chicken breasts when I was trying to grow and get bigger. Anyways, I should have been doing thighs that had more fat, they taste better, and they have almost as damn much protein as the chicken breast does. So uh, that's a great piece of advice. But be careful on trying to save, you know, $10, like the difference between a bottle that is like literally 10, 20, $30 difference. It's not the brand. It's like what they're getting, like turn the label around and actually count out how many servings are in it and how many grams of protein per serving. And most likely the difference of that $20 more expensive bottle. That's the main reason. The second main reason is because they probably do third party testing and then the other company doesn't. So yeah. Oh, you know, for fish, you know, it's relatively inexpensive tilapia. Yeah. You can buy tilapia also. And then I said tuna fish. I mean, eggs, eggs are relatively mm-hmm. inexpensive. Like you could totally do this and save a lot of money you just have to cook your food at home. That's the biggest uh, piece of advice that I have. Right. Even with steak or, or excuse yeah. me, red meat. Get yourself a George Foreman grill. Oh, dude, that uh, was the lifesaver. Key- that was a, yeah, same thing. Oh, uh, ground beef, ground beef. You yeah, could buy beef. big ass mm-hmm. packs of bulk ground beef, and it's relatively it's inexpensive. always on sale. Too. Totally, totally. 